Hello, my name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Greff Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! Corvette Stingray's standard roof panel is made of carbon fiber and weighs only about 16 pounds. Removing the roof panel is easy. This can be done alone, but for some, it may be better done with two people. To begin, the Corvette transmission should be placed in park if it's an automatic, or in first or reverse if it's a manual. Then, shut the engine off and lower both sun visors and both side windows. There are three latches, two in the front, under the sun visors, and one in the rear at the center part of the vehicle. Release the front latches first. To unlock the front release latches, pull them outward and rotate fully. To unlock the rear release latch, press the button on the front of the release handle. The latch lever will open. Make sure it moves to its release position. Once the roof panel is released, stand on one side of the vehicle. Carefully lift the front edge of the roof panel up and forward. Avoid dropping the rear edge downward. When the roof panel is loose, grasp it as close to the center as possible and lift it away from the vehicle. It is very important to properly store the roof in the luggage compartment to prevent damage. Turn the roof panel so that the front edge of the panel is facing the front of the vehicle. Next, insert the roof panel so that the outside front edges line up between the receiver covers. Be sure to center the roof panel between the receiver covers and then push forward on the roof panel until it stops. Gently place the roof panel down so that the back pins on the roof panel drop into the receivers in the back of the storage area. Then, press down firmly to seat the pins in the receivers. The roof is now stowed. To install the roof panel, the same vehicle conditions for removal still apply. Engine off, sun visors down, etc. The installation is easier if two people do it. Be sure the roof latches are in their released position, otherwise, damage could occur. Pull up on the rear edge of the panel to disengage the pins. Lift it from the luggage compartment. Place the roof panel on the vehicle and position the rear edge of the roof panel next to the weather strip on the back of the roof opening. Now, align and fit the pins at the rear of the roof panel inside the openings in the rear overhead weather strip. Gently lower the front edge of the roof panel to the front of the roof opening. Once aligned, push the roof firmly downward to engage the pins. Turn the front release handles inward so that they fully latch to the closed position. The handles must fully latch. Move to the rear and push back and up on the rear release handle to insert the hook in the loop. The rear handle must fully latch. With the roof latched, push and pull the roof panel up and down and side to side to ensure the roof panel is securely installed. This information and more can be found in sections two of the owner manual. I hope that video presentation is you confident on how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.graphguru.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.